There it is, folks. The second Tekken live action movie. Tekken 2 Kazuya's Revenge, or sometimes called in some countries Tekken A Man Called X. No, I don't uh... fucking know either. <laughs> so you know what? The first live action Tekken movie made in 2009 slash 2010 was so great and so successful that of course he did a new one after all he did end up with a sequel bait What's so let's it? instead do a prequel instead let's have three of the characters from the previous movie returning let them be the only characters from the game and let have one of them being recast and the other not giving a single shit about the character's appearance not only um, that this was made five years after the first movie way to ride that hype wave to video, it was direct to video in most of the in most of the, you know first world countries like the us but in a lot of other countries like Japan, the Philippines, uh, you know, Singapore, it actually had a theatrical release. And we only have the estimation of box office how much it did for Singapore, which was $9,240. Even then, it's not a, an accurate result. So, needless to say, it probably did not do that much, you know, especially because after this, uh, you know, the live action movie series of Tekken was discontinued, and the next thing that happened was the, blood, the, the Netflix series eventually uh you know. mr ts given i have a question i have several but go on the movie is called kazuya's revenge and well given it's kazuya i assume he's going for vengeance against his dad but given that we see he's clearly working for his dad in the first movie doesn't that kind of make this a foregone closure that he won't get revenge that's not all. Uh, you may no you you are noticing it already by watching this video since we incorporate the movie poster in the thumbnail, you know. But it's a bit hard to see for Kazuya himself, but Andre, you see. Kazuya looks nothing like him in terms of hair, you will see in the movie. Uh, Heiachi, played again by Kariyuki Tagawa on the on the left, has none of Heiachi's haircut. Instead, he's almost completely bald, you know. The closest is Brian Fury on the on the right, which closely resembles what the character would have been while still, you know, originally alive. Like... So, you know what? We're in such good hands as we if appearance-wise this managed to get worse than the previous live-action movie. Like, say what you will about the previous live-action movie, I feel that for the most part they got the looks of the characters done right. You know, I mean, sure, because he had a goatee, but they still got the hair doing overall look of the man right, and hey, Hachi but was on point. <laughs> but anyway, more on the cast and crew as the movie starts, so let's start on the black screen that is right before the crystal logo and the music of the movie immediately starting. So I start in three. Two, one, big. So this is the Fear story of, of how Kazuya grew from a young boy into the ultra super mega chad that banged Anna and Nina in a threesome on the bed. I fucking wish. Wait. So, yeah. <laughs> so you're saying that this movie doesn't even work good continuity wise with the first no, live action movie? Barely. Barely. <laughs> the only thing it gets right is that uh, this is supposed to be in that post-apocalyptic future where the, the city is called Tekken City and he actually has the Tekken Corporation. Anyway, Dreams, do you want to tell us who the director is? Uh... What the heck? Um, okay. Um, so, if you thought having the credited writer of Ballistic writing the last movie wasn't bad enough, um, this time this film has the director of Ballistic, as the film's director and cinematographer. Vic Kayasayananda, who is mostly known as Chaos, who is credited here as Vic Chaos. He is a Thai director who has made this film, Ballistic, and the film before that in his native um, home of Thailand, whose name I've forgotten. Sorry, who is this guy? Hayao Miyazaki with a beard? That's supposed to be Kazuya, by the way. Uh, Hayao Miyazaki has had a beard for decades. What, Jova? You're not recognizing? His design is instantly the same from the game, don't you know? He it's looks like... It's he, look, game. he looks like Sakurai if he went through a villain arc. Like, holy shit. I mean, again... Okay, maybe the idea is that he starts off like this and then slowly resembles his look from the first movie, or... No, not even that. So, Ugh. I just have a question. Why? Like, from what I understand, the first movie was not exactly ah, a box really office cool. success, so why a Maybe sequel? Maybe contractual things. Uh, again, and considering Katsuya Arada was not uh, even remotely contacted for consultants in the first movie, you can imagine he 
even in this case, he probably stayed the fuck away from this. Uh. Like, the thing is, why not do a reboot? Like, did they think that a direct-to-video sequel is gonna magically save the film franchise? Also, the writer apparently is from the, the producer and the story creator of Baby Super Baby Super Baby Baby Geniuses One and Two. Oh right. God, uh, I'm already Steven starting to Foley. see I'm already starting to see a downgrade in the action quality from the first movie. Even the the costume design, like I said, this 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 movie actually will have almost none if none at all the designs from the games. I don't even know why they even bothered. Like, you know, again, to give the first live-action movie credit, I felt that the character designs were at least for the most part on point. Some there alterations was a aside. Real trying. Oh, whoa! CGI City! Joba, Good lord! Joba, did you flip on the sci-fi channel again? Sorry, and for a moment I thought I was watching Reboot all of a sudden. I thought you were going to say Catwoman. Which, no, which, which one? Yes, I was gonna say instead again. I under the source, so there is that. <sighs> wow, just you know, I will never understand Me. companies that think that oh yeah, an ultra cheap direct-to-video sequel to a theatrical movie like, will totally save things. I have to argue this. This can come across more as a fan film more than anything. It will probably make more sense. God, Ow. don't. Like, okay, so it's been it's been yes. a while since we last saw that movie. Couple Did Kazuya die in that? Because I forgot. No, no, he was, he was beaten and disgraced. The only major character that died was a think Dragoon of. Uh... Okay, and question. John. Tekken two. Oh, oh god, that that number two one. Question. Curly. Wait, wait, wait. Oh god, that thing of calling a prequel. Well, okay. Yes, Joba, the narration speech is the same one from the motion picture. Why? Uh, not, a, not a verbatim, but they actually essentially is basically the same thing. Oh god, that CGI city! You, you, mm. Could you really not afford to just do an overhead shot of a city? As you're wondering, audience, I do have alcohol and I'm not afraid of using it. Wow, we're not even five minutes in and already this is bad. Yeah. Maybe... Like, Nedra, you watched, the, out of all of us, you watched more recently Street Fighter The Legend of Chun-Li. If I recall correctly, that one also suffers from the same problem, as in characters not having their iconic designs whatsoever. No, oh. man, some characters are way too different from the others. See Charlie Nash. Oh god, yeah. like, I'm sorry, this, The Legend of Chun-Li is one of those El Cheapo films, it's like, they couldn't even you, get you. Know, you, you know, me, Joe, and Shiro were supposed to do a podcast on that. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe get in a what, Java, sorry? Uh, yeah, it's like they couldn't even get Chun Li's hair design right. Like, come on! Oh man, this guy. Uh, okay, this is a um, Croatian actor called, pardon for the pronunciation, Rade uh, Sherbezia. Or again, pardon the pronunciation. He has been in a lot of things like Taken 2, Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows Part 1, Mission Impossible 2, Snatch. Um, he has been in a lot That's of stuff, he's still doing a lot of stuff to this very day, but uh, you can tell he's here just for a paycheck. So, question. Yeah, like he said also, if you had any attachment to the games, uh, only three characters from the game are in this movie. Oh. Kazuya, Kazuya Heiachi, and Brian Fury. Everyone else is a completely original character on a steal, but uh, I know what you're thinking. Well, that's just an opportunity to create original characters with interesting concepts, and if you're cool enough, maybe you will be integrated in the game someday. <laughs> no. So what's... Harada hates these movies. So what's with these... Wait, who? Oh, Harada. So, Harada. so, question. What's up with this guy and I guess his Charlie's Angel trio of girls? He's essentially the, the leader of his turf, uh, and he thinks Kazooie is trespassing. Uh, the thing about the, the thing, Joba, is that guess what? And for another set of trope, Kazuya has amnesia. Why? We don't know yet. Uh, we will be told later. I was about to wonder: Did he get amnesia because of getting hit by the car? <laughs> I wish uh, he could get Isekai in a better place. And again, what's up with these three girls? Like, they look like they're cosplaying as something, but apparently not. Group, uh, 
this will be so lazy, but for uh, most of his character, we don't even get them proper name. Like this guy, played by uh, the actor Rade, is called the Minister because he acts like a preacher. He doesn't even have a proper name. He's just the Minister. Profound. So, what, is he like Negan from The Walking Dead? Oh my God, that's why Negan was no, in Tekken Joe, Seven. That's... Dad, no, we're not entering these pathways into darkness, no, but, don't worry. But you know, it's funny, I was actually going to ask if most of these characters are just original, because this movie feels so cheap that I don't think I'd be able to tell a character from the game series from an way, OC. Wikipedia quotes only one review uh, that was a 3 out of 10 from, um, I think it's either a magazine or a program that is called Manly Movie, which already says a lot. Quote, it's like the producers and writers have no idea who these characters are had, and had no intention of giving a crap, but were advised where certain actors were free for a cameo, use them, unquote. What? Jesus. Oh, you're one of those guys who rigs people with collars to blow them up, aren't you? It's uh, the word of God or something. Praise be. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just really wondering... What was the reason for this thing's existence? Like, no, was... I guess it must be like a contractual thing because it, there's no news. I cannot find any news about its development. If I have to be honest, like, and the, uh, the, sorry, gone. The closest thing I could reconcile is that oh, the first film had a cult fan base, but then I'm sorry, this movie feels like it craps all over said cult fan base because yeah, it you is... can you can actually watch this movie without having to watch the first one, and you will be fine. Trust me. As well, okay, to be fair, prequel, so that kind of comes with the territory, but all the same still, though, this does not feel like it's in the same world as the first film. Like, this feels so... Again, well, considering it's the same production company, Crystal Sky Pro Pictures, I get the idea it might have been a contractual thing, like they, they had managed to snatch a contract for an other movie after the first one, but they were so giving little shit and they, like, they had, were contractually obligated to actually release it, but they just decided to, you know, do it like that. Also, yes, sexy girl in Sailor Fuku is sexy. Like, seriously, again, I constantly get the feeling like they're supposed to be acting like a character from the game, but when I recall, nope, there's only three characters from the game, so I'm not sure what personality they're trying to make. And again, all, out of all of them, I argue only one is a design that closely resembles his gaming counterpart. The one in the sailor outfit? No, Brian Fury, he will show up later. Essentially, oh. we get to know why he became depend you know, a dependent of a Tekken corporation. Like, I'm sorry, was there like a lack of female villains that they could have had? And they vanished. Okay. It's like James Franco in Spider-Man 3. Um, <laughs> uh, also... Around this time, this was 2014. No, I argue, okay, female villains, sure, there weren't that much, but Tekken had a substantial amount of female characters that they could use, uh, you know. Like, I... have Kurimitsu, for example. Honestly, the pigtails were. Uh -huh. Haha, very funny, Dej. No, wait, sorry, sorry, say that name? Kurimitsu, the, the ninja from 2 with the fox mask. mask. Uh, oh my god, I think I, I keep thinking her name is Kitsune. Like, okay, the closest... It might be some countries, I guess. The closest resemblance I can get is that the girl with pigtails reminds me of that girl in the orange martial artist outfit from Project Cross on 2 that I think is Jin's girlfriend no, that's or a, something? That's, no, that's not Shao Yu. I can tell you that. Well, that's why I said, like, the closest resemblance, like, and, and, and okay, 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 maybe they had a lack of, maybe they didn't want to make those female characters, like, henchmen or villains, but maybe the art could have been that they become good guys or something, like, I don't know, it seems like they're in a desperate situation where I guess these like people... Like he said, this movie is very preoccupied, in, they're not very preoccupied in, you know, trying to be a good adaptation from the video game instead try to do its own original post-apocalyptic story just by having a couple of characters that uh, closely, you know, have a name resemblance to their game counterpart. So is the idea with these people that they're like part of the resistance against Heihachi's evil empire? No, they're just part of the, you know, this particular uh, turf of Tekken City where they're just, where they're just surviving. So Kazuya... Well, it's not even like because he has stumbled upon them. Like, the dude was literally chased out of his room and then got hit with a car. Up, uh, in, in the room and got chased by them, yeah. And now I guess they've taken him hostage thinking he trespassed or something, which 
I'm not quite sure if I can make sense of this plot it's here. not even an interesting plot so far, I argue. And again, Those sets of footballers just said this. This United Passions. <laughs> generic cult leader dialogue is generic. You know what I'm reminded with this uh, particular, you know, congregation and uh, the the guy being a quasi a minister rather than a leader? I'm reminded of the second half of Hayes, uh, where your character, you know, passes onto the side of the rebels uh, and they're led by uh, Merigno. Oh my god, I think this plot you know. is reminding me of Hayes a bit. Good grief. The only thing that's missing is actually the, the hallucinogenic drugs. Uh, to be fair, those were in the first movie, for some reason. Girl boss, Does she so. just get off on doing that? I think it's more of a case of being invite to people, you know, in order to neutralize them potentially. You can look at how cheap these sets are. Look, I'm sorry. God. It, it looked like she outright killed the guy and... What? So, wait, hold on. So they're you supposedly inviting- my wine the correct way, now you must die. So let me get this straight, they're inviting and subduing these people, but what person in their right mind would come to this dump thinking that it is safe if they're from the outside? Like, it's clearly it's the apocalypse. dog world. Like, it's clearly the apocalypse, and these guys look like they're more upper class, so shouldn't they be in on, like, Heihachi's inner city or something? Essentially, this is also essentially training. Also, this guy. Oh, well, whatever. I'll mention something later. But um, uh, essentially, this group also trains a guerrilla, you know, style of group in order to either defend themselves or actually trying to go against the Yachi. Oh, so all those bits were training. Which, yeah. of course, huh. involved the girl in the Sayer outfit needing to strip for training because. And stabbing with a syringe. I... And essentially, another testing Kazuya's skills. Look, guys, if you- You know what this action film's telling me so far? What? Uh, um, you know what, I haven't actually seen any of those, um, Hong Kong action films. Look- You're missing out. Look, guys, if you want a sex- Much for please, uh, catalog. Look, guys, if you just want a sex scene, just do a sex scene like you did in the first movie. Yeah, it was weird that Kazuya was having a threesome with Nina and Anna, but... I guess at least you made it sexy. Also, these quick cuts, jeez. Uh, it's like I'm watching Captain America 1990. And again, like, okay. I wouldn't even mind if most of these, you know, were original characters. Because, you know, hey, sometimes movie adaptations have given rise or birth to new characters who are cool. But I am sorry. Again, I'm not one of the characters movie. from... One of the characters from Seven, uh, Eliza, the vampire, originated in the free-to-play Tekken game uh, for the PS3. So that's actually pretty cool that they actually incorporated there. And hey, for example, in uh, the King of Fighters uh, 14, they even incorporated a an SNK character that was in oh. a gacha game uh, until that point. Okay, so that so girl just... Machine machine. So that girl just really gets off of sex and murder, I see. Also, the um, the minister doesn't tolerate failure, so of course the weak has to be, you know, extirpated or some shit like that. Like, okay, so if I understand correctly, this guy runs this community, and I'm guessing these three girls are like his lieutenants, his second in command or whatnot. So I'm guessing we can expect a climatic fight between them and Kazuya near the end or something. Um... Again, Trova, don't expect anything in this movie. Not even I say it's on a good way to say, oh, this movie is so unpredictable and it's fun. No. It can't be unpredictable because we know out of the outcome, because you're going, I'm not a murderer. Well, we know how that's going to turn out. And okay, you know what? To be fair, stuff like Red Dead Redemption 2 shows that just because you're a prequel doesn't mean you can't still have surprises or be incredibly endearing, even if the audience do know some of the outcomes here. You can. I am not endeared in the slightest. Like, we have an amnesia Kazuya, whose character trait seems to just be 
that he's amnesiac. Like, and he's like, man, violence. So, like, yes. Like, what well, again? The fun part about Kazuya is how unapologetically bastard he is. Uh, you know, he doesn't give a single shit about anything. Like, like I said, I actually prefer Kazuya as the protagonist over Jin, but. This Kazuya kind of encapsulates part of why I prefer Kazuya Virgin. Although, to give Jin credit, even he is not this generic and, Oh, I'm good. Oh, I'm not a murderer. Oh, I could never fight. Not me. Also, the fact that they represent these flashbacks... Oh, seriously. These flashbacks with the white, uh, you know, filter like that is so obnoxious. Uh. And the thing is, okay, even if this was a... It's like I'm playing again the quiet man. <laughs> I... Very rarely have I been this boggled behind a sequel or prequel and its complete production or idea. Like, okay, you wanted to make a sequel to the live-action movie? Why not just do that? Why do we need this uber-confusing prequel? Okay, uh, wah, then. Wah? Hey, look, if you're gonna have a sex scene, don't fade in and out of white so nobody can even enjoy it. Also, mm -hmm. you're seeing it right. She just assaulted him. Kazuya doesn't have to take it, you know. It's like the it's like the violence scenes in Jennifer's body. So what Also a Disney movie now. Oh let me guess, he falls in love with that girl, I guess. I don't know what to think, honestly. Like, from what I understand, the girl in the Sarah outfit seems to be the psychotic one. This girl, I guess, is the straight man, and the third girl? Again, um, that's one of the problems. She's there! Because this movie runs with so many new original characters do not steal, it's very hard to actually follow them, you know, and, you know, all of it. Especially because they genuinely blend together. Again, even something that tries to be, to have uh, just a few original, just a few of the regular characters and mostly original ones, <laughs> Mortal Kombat <laughs> Mythology Sub-Zero, you know, for example, which add a bunch of characters. At least be bothered to stay consistent with the designs, you know, and create something that was at least remotely cohesive with the setting, to the point that eventually, you know, these characters got integrated in some kind of fashion. I you love know. that bit. He makes perfect shot after perfect shot just to say, I don't like guns. And don't get me wrong, yes, somebody who's skilled with guns can still dislike them, but man, this, you know what, you know what this movie feels like it's going there you for? Go. I think that's him, that's Brian Fury. I'm not as familiar with Brian Fury, so what yeah, is again, the... We, you've seen in the previous movies, essentially, uh, technically speaking, a zombie, because he was, he, was, he was dead and got reanimated, but as a result, he's kind of lekooky crazy. It's, it, the only thing is that we see him while he was still alive. Cool, yo. So, this is just... I love it, this guy just did a flip for his... What was that? <laughs> <laughs> what even is this movie? Like I said, this really genuinely feels more like a fan film more than anything. Okay, you know what this movie's MO seems to be? It's going for that thing that origin movies go for, where, oh, the character is the opposite of what you expect them to be, because we gotta show how they develop into being this or that. You know, stuff like how the Popeye movie had Popeye initially not liking spinach. Not saying it can't work out, like, the Mario movie even had Mario not like mushrooms, but I'm sorry, Kazuya Singh is so generic. I don't, I'm not a murderer. I don't like guns, which, okay, to be fair, Kazuya never seemed to really have a thing for guns, at least some of the Tekken games I remember, so. Well, again, in 7, there's this thing that any character can pick up a gun, including Akuma, with four hilarious results. <laughs> so, was that them referencing this then? That Kazuya no, is. No, they, they, they just wanted to have fun. Okay. But I mean, so is the plot that the minister wants to shape Kazuya into his prodigy, or I guess yeah, they're just Achilles machine, yes. Yeah, so. Why? Because he sees potential in him, I suppose. He's a random guy. One of your girls ran into with a car. Were you tailing him the whole time to know he is supposedly gifted? What does he have? Some mystical sixth sense about him? Good God! Oh God! Oh man, we You guys ever saw the, one of those uh fan film um, Street Fighter movies that I think even Capcom 
approved those? I think I, I saw think I one involving. Them, but I never saw them. I saw one involving Ryu and Ken training. Yeah. I know oh. that the Mortal Kombat also is, also is a bunch of them. I forget if it was College Humor that did that Street Fighter I after. I think it was Machinima. Was it Machinima, Machinima. Did that Street Fighter after retirement thing? You know, uh, the one that basically uh, has the Street Fighter characters coming out of retirement. God, what was uh, that? So, what's the story of this movie supposed to be? Kazuya has to escape the uh, Hell Town. And find out uh, regaining his memories. Uh, but you started to notice that, Dweebs. Uh, this movie, like, like he said, uh, because of being a disaster, this, this jumble mess or anything, uh, this movie has no focus, and as a result, it's a slow burn, to say the least. Uh, guys? Uh, yes, uh, 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 I, no. You know, something seems to be missing from this revenge movie. The revenge itself. That's, bec that's because, Joe, I remember, in a, in a couple of countries, the movie has the alternate title, A Man Named X. Yeah, and the, the word revenge is such a, um, cli it's such a generic cliche thing in movies. Remember that, um, remember that fake Xbox 360 game I made of, uh, the, 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 you know, the cover of it, where I just had it be, uh, Princess Mononoke Ash's Revenge, because I'm like, that's like every generic sequel ever. Anyway, I found the name of the series. It says it's Street Fighter: The Later Years, actually. You know that? And that was you done by, was... and that was done by College Humor. Either that word was or Resurrection. Back in the nineties, Resurrection. Also, Revelations. Also, let me check if we know who did the, did the score because so far it's either non-existent, uh, you know. I have uh, the Blu-ray box on, and so I can tell you who it is in the back. Misha Segal. Okay. Damn, damn, it, damn it, I was just about to get that box. Okay, <laughs> you know the major problem with this is like, I get it, you know, sometimes adaptations <sighs> want to include their own original characters so that they aren't just relying on characters from the games. That being said, this is still a game adaptation. The lack of, you know, characters from the games really deprives them of any, oh, wow, cool, it's this character brought to live action, because at the end of the day, isn't that the That's point of a live action for. adaptation? To show how we can bring these characters into real life? Uh, also, Misha Segal is an Israeli music producer and film composer. Among his things, uh, the only couple of movies I recognize is The New Adventure of Peppy Long Stocking, the, Phantom, the 1989 version of Phantom of the Opera, and The Human Centipede 3. Guessing God. that was a bad movie? Uh, okay, better in two, but still bad. Why are there even three of those? Uh, why are there even movies of those? Why are there any movies of those, period, to be honest? Yeah. The entire point of that movie is to rely oh. purely on, on uh, shock value for how disgusting it is. Why is this action... Well, okay, you know, I don't think it's even the action itself that's necessarily terrible, but the editing is so bad that it makes the action seem terrible. Also, congrats, Kazuya beat this generic guy. Woohoo! I need more alcohol. We're not even a half an hour into this movie, good lord. Perhaps he really is the one. <laughs> yes, Ethan Kazuya, you truly are the Tekken at the end. <laughs> the Tekken was always within you, son. Okay. Which, to it... be fair, it would fit considering it literally means Iron Fist. Uh, so there you go. There's a Yachi. Well, <laughs> clearly you can re you can recognize clearly a Yachi from his design, right? The haircut is clearly the same, don't you know? I mean, why? You, it's uh... it's cool that you got you brought back Kari Ruki Tagawa, but you could not even put him like a wig on him. The thing is, he arguably looks older with his lack of hair in this. That's and because he's supposed he is, to be. Uh, he's, but he... he's older six, five, five years after the first movie. Which yeah, I get. You know, you know you, that sometimes happens with prequels, but they didn't even try to make him look younger. Eh? Like you have something like a Better Call Saul. Which does have, uh, you know, the actors visibly looking older than they appeared in uh, um, Breaking Bad. But it's essentially a, a suspension of disbelieving that. And they actually at least try to make it more cohesive. Here, no fucking way. This could be an alternate continuity for all we know. Why 
didn't they just do that? It would have made more sense than trying to tie this in with continuity of the first film. Especially Finish him. The entire... No, that's not the movie. Oh, God. Guys, this isn't Mortal Kombat. Stop trying to make Tekken Mortal Kombat. I don't even know why, because Tekken has never really been that mature in terms of, you know, uh, violence and gore. Again, yes. Again, <laughs> is it a janitor? It is violent, but... Uh... Wait, that was the janitor he was fighting? What the hell? Snap. All right, we let him go. Population. Why should we be horrified? We know that Kazuya is going to end up being worse than this guy anyway. I it only boring because I seriously is need it... this, in my, this fuel of alcohol to keep going. Is it just me, or is the soundtrack been just this same droning note on one throughout the whole movie so that far? That too! Like... And it's, okay. and it's I'll... custom in the first half of the 2010s. A lot of movies had this problem. I mean, I'll get... Uh, also, that girl that that associates herself with Kazuya, the silent one. If it was, if this movie came out 10 years earlier, she would have been played by Michelle Rodriguez. <laughs> well, at least then she would have been very keen to look at. Man, what happened to Michelle Rodriguez? Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, so, again, it, honestly, if I didn't know better, I'd say that this is the movie trying to build up june or something since that girl seems to be close to kazuya and the nope, most sane of the all. girls june is completely absent from this from this franchise apparently which is hilarious considering again the previous movie established kiri g and end up having is related to kazuya and uh, heiachi so what gives uh... wow this is terrible but on we go still I still have to ponder if this qualifies as one of the worst, if not the worst, video game annotation, but only because there's so much more also worse than this. So like I'm the F bowling movie, for example. Is this the actor discussing with the producers? So this guy tells him that oh, Anders... Uh, sorry, so sorry. So I'm guessing that Anders is the woman that's fraternizing with Kazuya. I have to be honest, Jova, because again, I saw this movie once in 2015, uh, and already I had so many bad memories. Uh, so not only don't remember much, but I have to agree with what you said. It's really, really hard to follow this. It doesn't help that everyone is so generic and they barely refer to them by names either. Yeah, you know what? The demon in the bottle is actually telling me around now that it's not even worth it. But don't worry. But don't worry, guys. Uh, he's not totally evil. He doesn't kill children. Ooh. Oh, hey, look! This somewhat resembles a shot from the first movie. Because, again, we're supposed to be in Tekken City out in, in that post-apocalyptic setting after the world was ravaged and only the mega corp of Tekken Corporation ruled this through the world or some shit like that. Like... So, how many years does this take place before? No idea. I don't, I don't know. I think, like... Gene was not yet born, so I guess at least uh, 20 or something. Uh, look yeah, at all this would be some hilarious shit if this girl ended up being June, John. Well, Apparently that's, not that, that's so. what I said, though. Like, well, it feels... If she's June, it's never stated. Oh, let me guess. Let me guess. Something bad happened to her family, and that's why she was looking at that family and having again, fun. Uh, they did whitewash Christy Montero in the previous movie, if I remember correctly, so... I thought they... they... No. Yeah, I thought they did her well. No, that's... you thought... No, you thought that was Shao Yu. Shao Yu? Okay, then. Okay, okay, okay. That, that was just a that was just a random girl. Like, girl. Honestly, if girl, anything, girl. unless something terrible happens to this girl, it would make sense to just make her June. I mean, don't get me wrong, the design is all wrong for June, but I mean, so is for Kazuya. Yeah, I mean, so like, I mean, if anything, at least something would make sense in this movie. So I guess the minister lets them go out now and then? Like, I'm sorry. Because I think he trusts her. 
What is stopping Kazuya from just hitting the trail? Like, I'm pretty sure he could escape if he thing. wanted. That's the thing, Trova. Again, you notice that too. Kazuya, because of his amnesia, Kazuya not only has uh, no agency almost whatsoever, his personality is almost absent. You don't really know what he's thinking nor what he wants to do in his life. He looks just as confused as the audience is. Wow, it's literally a plot about the also, guy trying- pedophilia. Hooray! Wait, she's a pedophile? No, she's talking about someone who is. Uh... Yeah. Guessing it's a guy we need to go yeah, beat basically up. Basically, the guy he's, he's on TV is a, pe is a pedophile, and among other things. That justifies completely murdering him. Wait, 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 hold on. Oh, wait, so the janitor, I guess, is the guy he was talking to earlier, since I guess the janitor's alive? It's weird. The way he says, let the janitor Apologies. go. Okay, in the remote possibility, there is someone who actually appreciates this movie and tell us that we're not just following that much. Again, apologies, but uh, it, it's it's very hard. And again, the demon in the bottle is compelling me to not even try. Look, and you know, for contrast, I'm completely sober here. Look. Also, because we killed this guy off screen. Oh, like, man. look, if anything, <laughs> I was. It's starting. I, I have the feeling that it's starting. What? What's starting? The alcohol to take effect. Okay, so the thing <laughs> is, the thing is, I was able to follow the first movie relatively well, like. This That's is... because the first movie managed to actually be close to, you know, more to the games, Jova. Not, not, that's not saying much. That, no, that's not saying much. Again, out of all of them, technically, Blood Vengeance is the one because it's the more connected to it and the one because we are out of all the most. But out of the others, the motion picture is the one we closely, is more the closest attached to the games. And even then, it's still not saying much. Tekken is just cursed. At least the Street Fighter, <laughs> the first Street Fighter movie was a fun ride that did shape the game in some fashion. Same for the first Mortal Kombat movie. Wait. You know, what's Tekken's excuse? They're calling him K. Oh my god. That's a, that's a, he doesn't know his own name and that's the name he chooses to. Is it supposed to be a surprise to the he audience? Heard, when he heard, he sorry, the sorry, sorry, yeah, the film said no drinking alcohol. What? Yeah, that's what a guy just told him. Oh crap, I've been drinking well, it too. Actually, you, you, oh fuck you it, this one can't tell me what to do. Yeah, you know what they say about rules, they're meant to be broken, so you can see my middle finger jamming up your ass. Like, okay, 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 I'm sorry. They're calling him K. Are they trying to make it a surprise when it turns out he's Kazuya? Is that no, why not they... For the, not for the audience. Okay, I guess... If the audience comes in, I can I can tell you that the audience watches this movie, they come in actually knowing who this who Kazuya is supposed to be. So it's not really too much of a surprise for the other characters, I guess, because he actually is known, so his son has to be as, as well. So I'm guessing the minister let him get his own hotel room? Like... Because he murdered these guys. How nice. So he demonstrated nice. his, his uh, mistrust. Also, again, because I have no idea about uh, the Wikipedia doesn't tell me anything about development, I don't know where they actually filmed this. And yeah, I looked on IMDb, I couldn't find anything. Kari Yuki Tagawa is only wasted for this couple of scenes where he just talks a bit in the, uh, to the audience and doesn't do anything. Remind me again, Pedro, when was Aftermath, the DLC Aftermath for MK11 released? Uh, I think it's like a year after. Yeah, 2020. 20, 2020, 2021, okay. Um, again, he was all so much better at pricing his Roy Shang Tsung in that one. Well, yeah. I mean, Kerry's a great actor. I mean, it's, it's not even it's that. It's just like... so wasted in this. Man, yeah, Kerry really went um... from fighting game movie to fighting game movie, didn't he? The only thing that he's missing is to be Pai Chan's uh, mentor in Virtua Fighter. Yeah. I'm, gonna pull, I'm gonna pull a Deji, this is just white noise. <laughs> I mean, sometimes literally, Pedro, sometimes there's literally only white on screen. Yep. Mm. I'm gonna have to si oh, Okay, like, I'll say this though. If you're not bugged by this movie to all heck, you are probably just gonna be bored, because there is yeah. nothing of value. Like, I will say it, the first live-action movie did have stuff of value. Didn't necessarily make it good, but it was not this much a bore fest. Like, you know, look, you, I could argue someone could enjoy that as at least a distinctly different take of Tekken. But one that had at least 
familiar enough aspects. This, uh-uh, like, this is, like, basically almost Tekken in name only. There's no tournament. We don't even get Kazuya called by his name proper for a good portion. The designs look all wrong. The story feels all wrong. Like, what a value is there to this sequel? Did they really think that this was going to be a big success? Or again, maybe like TOC. Well, they released the direct DVD, Jova, so. Well, no. I mean, I, well, okay, to be fair, Dwibs, there are plenty of times where people expect a direct to video sequel to be a success. Like, see stuff like uh, the Swan Princess or Alpha and Omega series. Oh. Don't tell me this is supposed to be the stand in for June. I don't know, I don't think so. Oh wait, remind me, was June actually called June in the original movie, or would she, you know, I go, was Jin's mother still called June in the original movie, or did I she go by a different name? I can tell you, June, that I'm starting to feel like I'm not, I'm not going to be able to answer your questions uh, in a while, so That's... you're on your own. Uh... I, 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 bro, she was barely in that film, okay? Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> Are you still seeing straight to you? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, I looked back. Yes, she still was June in the original movie. Whew. Man. This girl here. I, I need to start picking movies that'll cause Tio to drink. Um, I can think of a couple, but, um, I, again, I'll uh, call... <laughs> well, bitch, um, you can join us for our friend, friend, sir, after friend record playthrough. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't we do a commentary of Remember Me? Actually, I like that game, in Judge. So yeah, that, 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 no, that, that's that, a video. That, that, that's a movie. No, you're talking about a movie, believe it or not, too. Oh, that no, got a movie a adaptation. Time. No, it's no. a common title to be used. Wow. The one that had Robert Pattinson. Wow, this scene oh. is so riveting of Kazuya patching up his wounds, looking for something he's on a finding, map. I guess he's finding something. What is this, a movie rendition of Shenmue? I don't need to see this routine all yeah, the time. Yeah, this, this is actually closer to a Shenmue or Yakuza movie, to be honest. Uh, to be fair, Yakuza did get a couple of movie adaptations, but I haven't seen them yet. Me neither. And I guess this side of town is better? Like, seriously, it feels like we're in a different movie now with how it doesn't seem as apocalyptic here. Granted, maybe it's just because it's daytime, so... Oh, now it's good. Tekken, everyone! Oh. Clearly, this is embodying the video game so much. <laughs> you know... <laughs> The only reason I would say this isn't one of the worst is because I guess it's not as obnoxiously cheap and bad as an Uwe Ball film, but... Oh, it's the up there. That, the, the only thing that makes it a bit better than Uwe Ball is because he's co more competently directed and there's the practical effects are still better. <laughs> and Uwe back Ball to this? The, the Uwe Ball has the problem of fucking up every aspect of a movie. He's kind of like hey, 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 look, 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 Kazuya in that flashback was fighting guys with guns. That's the reference to Tekken 4's opening, right? Right? Shut right? up, Dad. I <laughs> will say this, though, that... Uh, what well, this... they would pay to, to have Warren showing up and saying broken English. I'll say this, though. The cinematographer really has a hard-on for slow motion. Trey. Uh, Jova? What? Would it interest you to know that the director and the cinematographer are the same person? Oh, right, Ballistic X vs. Sever, goody. Yeah, Ballistic X vs. Seven. Chaos is like no. an... Uh, yeah, I mean, Chaos is both the director of the movie and the director of cinematography. God Chaos forbid like that's a, his real name. Chaos is like a technically inept version of Zack Snyder. Yeah, like, give Zack Snyder wow, credit. Wow, you'd have to... You have to be really bad for Pedro to say you're a worse version of Zack Snyder. Like, okay, say, <laughs> say what you will about Zack Snyder. The man does know his craft well. That doesn't mean he always no. makes the best movies, but he is... Well, look at that vegetable. 
Look at how she smiles in the rain about it. What the is the toy station? What? I, uh, I'm I'm so, I'm sorry. Like, what is even the point of this? To see that she looks sexy in the rain as she smiles down at her produce. I'm, I'm starting to seriously disassociate him from this movie. Look, Pineapple. Again with the slow motion. Jesus Christ, director, calm down. Tekken. This is clearly Tekken, everyone. So I guess, I guess he has feel. The reason this movie is 90 minutes long is because of the slow motion. Okay, so Kazuya assumes to this woman, why didn't you make her June? You're catching pneumonia, this is not romantic. <laughs> uh, wait, in a single sexy tear for some reason? Why? This is literally, not... like, this is literally like the lowest scene from the Snyder Cut. Like. Don't you see, Jova, it's, it's romantic, uh, because <laughs> and, it's, a, it's, it's a bad day for the brain, like in Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, and he vanishes. Yeah, yeah, guys, 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 he's drunk now. And yet, that's still tame, uh, and yet, st that's still tame compared to when Dwibs gets drunk. Give it, I, I already told you, Jova, I get depressed. Well, um, I'll, um, I'll enlighten you, Jova, there's not much danger of that happening to me today, since I've only got, like, one... One bottle of alcohol that actually has alcohol in it. Everything else is um, alcohol free. Also, you can tell that uh, Kazuya's actor was sweaty as fuck because when he raised the arm, you could see the, the sweat uh, you know, stain. Oh, I gotta say, this Kazuya life simulator is quite an interesting tech demo. Seriously, what the fuck? Oh, hey, Anders, you're back. So, wait, so does he have feelings for Anders or that woman who. Apparently, it's called Laura. I admire you so much that you're trying to follow this movie, Drova. Well, you know, got her. Someone's gonna complain that we didn't pay attention. Uh, it's gonna happen anyway. Oh, let me guess, Kazuya starts to have second thoughts about this work for his boss. Gee, the person who is clearly. No, an asshole and kill his subordinate if they don't comply, maybe it turns out to be evil or something. They are literally reusing sets, and you know what? Fine, seeing consistency and all. Oh my god, but... this really is a Yakuza adaptation. Now we're in the streets of Kamurocho. Okay. Yeah, but. Well, hey, the music's uh... different and not just the same droning note. You can tell this is still a PG-13 movie because they actually cannot show nudity. That's the interesting thing too. Um, it's rated 15 round here. That's the equivalent what? of a uh, I R rating. I haven't, I haven't seen any particular about gore or swearing that justifies this. Let me okay, see. Okay, Edge, Edge, explain mm -hmm. to me. How is, Jennifer's, how is Jennifer's body R and this is a PG-13? Because yep. they're about in the same wavelength if you ask I, me. I, I guess it's because of how the death is presented where you see the horror of the bodies okay yes anyway tio's right over here and was... the amount of swearing there is but because yet... i feel like P to my understanding pg-13 is only allowed to have one curse word no 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 yes. uh, no no well pg-13 is allowed to have multiple curse words but it's only allowed to say the f word once conversely uh, yes, Right, you're you're right, Teal. This is PG thirteen, and is that Heihachi again? So, so no, it's not him. So it was rated higher in the UK than in the states. Uh, uh, that's so weird. Uh, I people God, like I, to I vanish would, randomly in this. What I would give to play a Yakuza game right now. Oh my God! Even this Give's is shot it, in uh, slow motion. I'm, I'm... <laughs> okay, I have to wonder. I can... <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm enjoying this a lot more than I should. Well, it's because it's so ineptly made that it's kind of fascinating, honestly. No, just the, just the reactions. Oh, shot in Freya. Honestly, to me, it's like Rick Kurt's... <laughs> it's like, um... It's like Bit Chaos's, um... Uh... Um... And, and there you go, it starts... It starts, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, um, as I was sorry. saying... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Come on, dribs. It, it's like Bit Chaos's other movie. There's no life in this. It's just... It's just a complete... Bore. Oh my and god. And he's dead, oh, I guess. Screaming. <laughs> 
Wow, another murder <laughs> done on black. screen. Oh my god. <laughs> and that's how this stays PG-13. Again, apologies audience, I the eventuality someone actually enjoys these. Uh, I don't know what what you'd see in these, but I can, guess I care about that. Uh, but... Does anybody even care about this movie? I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, like, not that's... many people even know it exists. Exactly! exactly. I'm oh. pretty sure you're fine. <laughs> Actually, let, let, let me use this. Uh, let me use this to see if on YouTube is are very any reviews of this. Uh, I'm surprised people like Spados didn't review this. So, so yeah, Laura is yeah. here. Wait, did Spados she? Tekken, because usually no, he but he did review a lot of video game adaptations. Oh uh, well, yeah, but it's usually things that he's into, like he's into Mortal Kombat, he's Resident into... Evil. So yeah, into... sure. So I, yeah, sure. so I guess that last kill was too much because now Kazuya wants out of the business. I, I, again, I feel like a Tekken adaptation should be a lot easier. It really well, is not hard. A safe, a, a safe bet tale is uh, Spoonie, because Spoonie reviewed all of the Tekken movies back in the day. I don't remember him reviewing this one. Also, I, yes, like, like, Okay. We, I, I, like, I'm sorry, but we live in a world where we're used to over-the-top action, especially with the Fast and Furious movies. I feel like a Tekken movie having the same energy as that. Well, oh, like, no, that... like, I'm not even the biggest fan of Tekken, and even I'm pretty sure that it's relatively easy to make an adaptation. Okay, there are some reviews, not that many, to be honest, uh, you know, but uh, um, some of them are, and the one that I feel is more descriptive uh, is this one from a character from a channel called Dove Cavill, but the leader title, Tekken 2 Kazuya's Revenge, Pain Just Pain. Yeah, that's fitting. <laughs> Fuck this. This is... Okay, like, no. We're back to, we're back to the droning score. <sighs> Can someone throw a punch in this fucking movie already? <laughs> <laughs> okay, surprisingly, yes. Pony didn't review this movie. To be fair, that was the... This was 2014. I think around this time it was the time he stopped doing... Videos, unfortunately. Like, this movie mm -hmm. isn't just bad, but this movie is like one of those edge of the earth obscure kind of films. Not necessarily because you wouldn't know about it, but kind because. Kind of like the Dead Rising movies. Not many people know they exist and they're not even good to the game with. Like, oh, there's original Hidden Tram or something now. Like, this... I... I feel like Dead Rising would be a fun movie to make. Except Jova that they didn't. The first movie only has Frank West for like a random cameo and follows original characters. Oh, what? And, no. only and only gets the thing superficial in the second movie doesn't even try. Oh. It's called Endgame. That sounds like those terrible Dead Rising sequels only worse somehow. Yeah. You mean 3 and 4? Yeah. Aren't people a bit on the fence with 2 as well? Two is okay because people kind of like Chuck Green uh, as a character. And, and I, I guess that the DL that DLC thing that they had where you play as Frank West was good. Off the record, that's an entirely different game. Oh, um, about um, about uh, the director actually. Oh. Um, since since it's um, since yeah, since it's related to, to, to say director, um, uh, Chaos actually disowned. Ballistic because he because of uh, the interference of the producers and how the film's editing and pacing was affected and how at the film's premiere he showed up half an hour late on purpose and quote pretty much hyperventilated for the whole evening. What a chad. Although mm. although I will say as for the editing and pacing thing, uh, judging by this movie, honestly, I don't know what he's talking about. That film's paced paced and edited exactly the same as this. Yeah. So maybe so. What you're saying is he's a hack. Yep. Um, oh, okay. Let me put it in the gentle <laughs> way, Dad. He he's not good at his job. So that's what we call hacks. So, yeah, so, that's what I also well, that's what yeah, I also I call. Yeah, I mean, um, that's what I also called Michelle Carr and Raul Barbe. So anyway, yeah, okay, okay. The term, okay. Uh, I'll be honest. Yeah. I don't. I don't really like using the term. Using the using the term hack because um, okay I'll, okay as for this example, I've never met um, I've never met Vic Chaos. For all I know, he's this upstanding dude, 
but it's still making leaves a lot to be desired. Oh, to sure, be fair, does, doesn't does, the term does. hack Something only that, describe yeah. their career pattern as opposed yeah, to the actual yeah, character? What Joba just said. I don't think this crisis profession, though. Nobody ever said that Chaos is a bad person. I don't know. Who, I don't even know anything. I, I mean, oh my God! Are we finally getting something this? resembling tech? Yeah, I, I just, I just, uh, I just don't like using that term myself. Is all. How about this? How about this, uh, Dwebs? Here's an, uh, here's one that I can give you. Um, I consider Zack Snyder, um, outside of his directorial action abilities kind of a hack and the interesting thing is that Zack Snyder has essentially said some things publicly that um yeah don't exactly paint him as a teddy a teddy bear so that guy I will argue is actually worthy of the of the term even by your standards that said screw what Warner Brothers did to him in this time of mourning but that is oh, neither yeah, here nor oh, there yeah, definitely oh yeah definitely but that doesn't give him the right to say that people who dislike his movies are quote unquote living in a fucking dream world yeah <laughs> I, I always get the semblance with him like he doesn't mean to come off that stupid in interviews it's just what word comes into his head just go pops out the years go by I, I seem to understand that people should stop giving interviews because they only ultimately start saying stupid on camera. Do you remember my voice? Good lord, who wrote this? Uh, actually, How? Sean Paul and another person. Never How heard of this guy. Here's another example. How, I, 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 Sorry, but... no, I'll, I'll be quick. How unlike ballistic, this film doesn't. This film doesn't even have the you know even slight um point and recognized value of a hey that's brian trauma did the movie and this tornado is also in it my mm. god i think there's more scenes of kazuya remember, walking than actual fights remember, in this movie. Uh, steve the one of the writers of his movie Stephen paul was the guy behind the baby genius and his sequels oh oh wow yeah. 360 <laughs> degree <laughs> shot! So this guy apparently oh. knows Kazuya and has some records on him, but he thought he was dead. Sure. Why not? K.M. <laughs> wow, these extra is so This extra looks like a clone of Chevy Chase. <laughs> I'll trust you on that. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe they should get him get him <laughs> in the community movie. Oh no, it was all a failure mapping out the hook. My mapping rage. Also, hey Anders. I love her heat. Don't tell um, me it's is, Laura. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Is this Tekken or Hitman? It's we have he like a dragon at home. Yeah, it really, any of the charm. it really feels like um like an annotation of Yakuza's Lesh, right? like a dragon. Well, remember, did you? This is twenty fourteen, so here in the West, uh, we still called it um, Yakuza. Yakuza, or as they pronounce it in some video games from the year two thousand, Yakuza. Found him. I re I really wish uh, Majima just popped out of a manhole and started killing everyone. Again, if you're going off the idea that this movie is called Kazuya's Revenge, we are now past the halfway point without any mention of said revenge. See, yeah. this is what... Uh, okay, you know how some people, you know, want to make movies that are, you know, 
completely character focused, uh, where they're squarely focused on one character and their journey from point A to point B. This is what the people who criticize that idea think their movies are like. It's like uh, uh, it's like the Twilight movies, like uh, Twilight New Moon. There's no new moons in this movie. Twilight Eclipse. There's no eclipse in that movie. So or, where do these subtitles even come from? Or Resident Evil Afterlife. Like what, what, yeah. is, what even is that afterlife? The zombies. I guess, but you could we could have used that from the beginning. Also, I swear that sound effect is from Red Faction when they hit the uh, great it's a stop defense. sound effect. Uh, Wow, uh, Tio, Tio is so drunk, he can't tell the difference between a guy from Britain and a guy from Brooklyn. Fuck off. I know they, <laughs> I know they, I know they have the letter B, and I know they kinda sound the same, Don't if you're drunk. Ah, they're all the same there. Oh. Wait, so... Yeah, Westerners, they're all the same. Good fucking guy, James. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Brian Fury oh, that he's fighting? I think that's supposed to be him. Sure you can. Hey. <gasps> I did. Oh, so his crime is that he dared to go against the minister yeah, and escape, I guess. Yeah, and as we know, the minister wants to the weaklings or the, the betrayers to be erased. Awesome. Again, because this adaptation doesn't give a single shit about the games, Kazuya doesn't even have any single one of his game techniques. He doesn't turn into the that uses the devil gene, you know. Nor he has any of his martial arts combo. Like, goddamn. <laughs> to be fair, at, at least someone in this tech movie started throwing the punch, I guess. <coughs> Hey, Sniper Girl, how did he disappear on you? You literally had him in your sights the entire time. We sure failed. We're gonna get him next time. I'll, um, I'll echo, I'll echo what, um, uh... I'll echo, I'll echo, I'll echo a Monty Python sketch, Jova. He moved. And... Of course he knew she was behind the corner. He you know screwed... That? I'm sorry, he screwed up the mission. Made a judgment call again. She had her gun on him the whole time. I'm pretty sure she could have sniped that guy. Has wait, nobody ever considered that a literal cult leader might just be a good charlatan? To be fair, Drova, uh, when it comes to you know. Propaganda and brainwashing, a lot of people just follow blindly without questioning, even when, when asked about it. I guess the idea is that he gives them a greater cause in life. Oh, Laura, hey. Crotch shot. She's a but How? I don't know, Trevor. I don't I can fix her. No, you can't. Besides, a lot of times uh, she doesn't need to be fixed. Hey, wasn't Heihachi supposed to be in this movie? What, Joe? You expect this Tekken movie to have Tekken characters in it? Or are you fucking stupid? <laughs> <laughs> My god, like the po- Jesus Christ, the Paul Anderson Resident Evil movies feature the game's characters yeah, better this, than this. Yeah, this might be an original character. Like, to be fair, with Lars being introduced the retcon of Kazuya having a bunch of strange children all over the world, this could be one of them, for all we know. I mean, he doesn't have yeah. the, the devil gene powers, uh, you know. <laughs> He's just connected tangentially to Kazuya, you know. It might as well be someone else. Call him, I don't know, Hanzo. And the thing is, like, what's even the point of this? Like, it's not even really showing his development oh. to... Okay, I guess now that's why it's rated R in the UK. She's very good with a medical kit, I guess. Oh, I guess she's extracting, like, a microchip <coughs> that was inserted in him. 
of course. So now he won't have to listen to the minister you anymore. Even, you cannot even inject him with an anesthetic of some kind. Or maybe, oh wait, maybe that thing that she put on earlier was the anesthetic. Well, apparently not, since he still feels pain. Well, there it is. Uh, dandy. Oh, I think that's supposed to be the thing that blows up in case you betray the uh, the minister. Well, yeah, that's what they were removing, I think. I... Shut up! Huh. So, okay, so apparently the other two femme fatales, while they aren't the characters, were apparently modeled after Anna and Nina Williams. While right. they're definitely still not, apparently. Yeah, and like, I don't recall Nina ever wearing a sailor outfit. Granted, I'm not as big a Tekken fan, so Dad, maybe you uh, can fill me in. Oh. The closest you're getting is, uh, you know, characters like Xiaoyu or Lucky Chloe. There you go, you are now explosive free. Uh. Sing him a little lullaby, why don't you? I like to watch you when you sleep. Sometimes I like to watch you sleep. According uh, to a lot of movies, sometimes I mean often. According to a lot of movies, this is a more romantic thing ever, apparently. Why does that keep happening? Well, I don't know. Uh, uh, well, uh, well, uh, for some reason, people think it's romantic in Final Fantasy VIII. So, what can I say? You're welcome. So what I mean you want to say is, thank you. Sure, whatever, movie. Fuck off. At least give us a good sex scene or something. You and your expectations, Jova. And so... <laughs> well, at least very some tongue, I guess. Again, showing how Kazuya went from just this to banging Nina and I Anna. As well, well, I feel, honestly, at that point, I might as well watch the Tekken porn parody. I'm pretty sure there are several, yeah. Just, just go on Pornhub. So I'm sure someone has made Source Filmmaker or <laughs> with those models, just like Overwatch. What's oh the, my what, God! What's it's what's, a... the, what's, the, what's the name of that porn parody? Techie, I'm, I'm, I'm teching tonight. <laughs> oh, the, mm, mm, the King mm. of Iron Come. Oh God! It's sure, one of those. <laughs> oh, oh God! It's one of those stupid sex scenes where they zoom in on the body parts that you can't actually see, see the problems. Yeah, I should have said the Come of Iron first. So the, the only this movie sucks, it also blue balls the audience. So. Like again, to uh, give Deji, Deji, just Deji, just call it Techum or something. Like again, to give the yeah. first again to give the first movie credit, they gave us a nice sensual scene of Kazuya doing it with Anna and Nina, and that was at least sexy. There's this also... isn't even that. There's also a Tekken XXX. Wait! Oh my God! They were Wait, watching. Oh god, no, they no, were- No, 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 triple X. There's triple X. Yeah, someone is, is spying yeah. on them. So they watched the whole sex, good lord. I mean, I, I guess- I, so I, I watched- I, I watched you all night. That was the most boring sex I've ever seen. I mean, it's I like... guess so, some people are into that. Oh, but the so one who's spying on him is Fury. Get this straight. Wasn't there supposed to be fighting in this movie? Yeah, so Pete Gleaves, you're the British guy. Can you tell us uh, about Brian Fury's actors getting Daniel? Let, let, me, let, let me have a look. So it I turns out... He's British. Uh. So it turns out, shock of all shocks, that the minister is not a good guy. No. Okay, Gary Daniels, um, actor, producer, martial artist, fight coordinator, and former world light heavyweight kickboxing champion. He's been in, um, obviously been in a lot of movies. Um, he was in the 1994 um, Deadly Target film, um, the 1995 Fist of the North Star movie. Um, among other, he was in a 1998 film called Spoiler, a 2014 film called Misfire. Oh, excuse me. Um, 
he was in The Expendables, the first one, a year yeah. after the, the, the first Tekken movie. He was in The Legend of Bruce Lee in 2008. And uh, uh, Kung Fu, a CW TV show that ran for two seasons um, from 2021 to 2023. Meet me at 7th Street at uh, 1900 hour. It's the other girl in my life. Oh my god, oh, even, my, even, uh, my acting is this? really convincing. She was even Mr. the Daniels acting was... self in a portal parody. I'm sorry, I'm so even, sorry. What happened Daniels to the acting? Even in a film. Yeah, the acting is actually very typical of porn, actually, right now. Daniels <laughs> is even in a... Daniels is even in a 2015 movie called Zero Tolerance, and guess who directed it? Carl, sir. Yes. Like, and, I'm then so... Jack, and then Jax pops out the corner, did somebody say chaos? <laughs> <laughs> he was also in Payday 2 as a character named Hector. Yeah, Payday 2 is disgustingly British. <laughs> Why would you tell her that? Because, Jova. Because. I mean, I guess he really trusts so, Sanders. I would like to mention that this movie is technically almost over. We're only 20 minutes off, you know, to the end. Till the end. So, hmm. What has happened so far? Haven't even gotten a flipping tournament yet. <laughs> Again, Jova, what are you, what, do you expect actual tech and action in this tech and movie? Perish the thoughts. I wonder if their idea here was to make Kazuya look like an older version of Jin from the first movie, maybe? Like a more sympathetic version of the character, I guess. Uh, and I guess the idea is like, well, oh, he looks like how Jin did in the first movie, only with a beard. No, it's not working at all. Yeah, I am like that. Uh, yeah, there you go. You're gonna giggle there, mate. That's your fucking Andy in as well, my mom. Hey, Brian. I think Brian is the, Brian's actor is the only one who understands what kind of movie he's in, and by by coincidence, he's actually resembling more of his character. Eh? You know, someone really needs to ask the Mad Men Muscle about this movie specifically. Not the first one, this one. I know, right? Because I, wa I want answers. I want to know what, how and why this movie was made. Why the Crystal Coconut Company wanted to make another one? I guess the movie did wait, well wait, wait, by wait, their wait, standards, wait, 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 so they decided to make another one! Hold on, hold on. You don't typically read the newspapers to have known that was a thing? It's like a gag in the Pokemon anime where Professor Oak is like, when will you learn how to read newspaper? I remember that one. And of <laughs> course... <laughs> you know, movie you're doing... Wait, 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 wait. He disappeared like that, and he, like a ninja, and you don't have Yoshimitsu in this? Yeah, he's like Batman, oh my god. They're, or Raven? They're kind yeah, of gonna kill you. They're kind of overdoing it with the whole people vanishing mysteriously in this movie. Seriously, when you make James Franco his Spider Man free subtly compares what you have a problem. Oh And he's and... dead. The minister is dead. Really? It was that easy? <sighs> Barely an inconvenience. Okay, Tail, let's um Let's make a let's make a call. Like okay, so who's less convincing, all these characters or um, the the actor who played the um, the, the actor who played Leander from Nino Kuni two trying to do that Roman uh, son of emperor like, that uh, you. Well, to be fair, it was flamboyant. My son, but... my son of Rome, I mean. It was flamboyant, but I can tell you, was trying to do something at least. So all <laughs> that worry about the minister, and it was literally just that easy to kill him. That's the thing, Java. He clearly demonstrated to have his power to be people having in his grasp. So of course he wouldn't put much of a fight. 
Oh no, war is taken! By Gentech? Uh, 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 Who the heck? What did Gentech have to do with this? I don't know. I just want the movie to be over at this point. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something very sacrilegious. In the name of the King Free, he's more exciting than this. Damn. Wait, the third one? Yeah, yes. and it's so bad. Oh, stop! Stop with the slow motion! Da, 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 I'm gonna strangle da, da, someone da, da, in the editing room for this. Help! 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 help. Remember! Remember! Fuck again! Yes. This, again! Again, this is a, this is exactly like ballistic, unnecessary slow motion shots. <laughs> Again, why is Vic why did Vic try and blame the editing and pasting on the producer's executive meddling? He's doing the exact same thing here. Maybe. Why do I get the feeling? Go on, go on, Pedro. Why do I get the feeling that if Zack Snyder was still in charge of the DC movies, he would have gotten Chaos to direct one of those? <laughs> eh, I don't Please, know. Like... At, the very, at the very least, Zack makes actually good cinematography for the most part. Yeah, no, 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 I get that. That's not what I'm talking yeah, about. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, remember, uh, Snyder is also a cinematographer himself. Like... Well, yeah, but, but that's what I mean. Like, remember, this is the guy who had the brilliant idea um, of getting... Uh, you know, someone like um, that. Uh, that who, who, who was that director from The Flash who got fired because he was a piece of shit? I forgot who it was. Did he? I'm not. I'm not sure if we knew he was that piece of crap yet. Like, I, I'm gonna give Snyder the benefit of a doubt empty. that he know. wouldn't really hire Chaos because you know, thing is, up at the point where Zack Snyder had taken on the DCU. Chaos, I don't think, really had the best stuff under his belt, it seems. And this is the Gentech factory, which doesn't just look like an abandoned warehouse that was cheap enough to shoot in. Basically, pretty much. Hey, look, it's something resembling the tournament. Yes. <sighs> Can the movie be over already? Well, Pedro, um, I don't know about the movie The Flash, but um, there was a guy named Hartley Sawyer who got fired from the CW, The Flash, after you, after making racist, misogynistic tweets. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, oh, that, that one had that nothing, nothing to do with stopping. Snyder. Yeah. Wow. Wait, Wait really? Hartley Sawyer wasn't, wow. Wasn't wow. Fucking serious. Really? That's her dealt with? What? Not even a fight scene. Fuck this movie. And here's the other wolf M fatale, I guess. That oh my god. So much of people time. just walking aimlessly well, around the I kind of feel like I'm... <sighs> I feel insulted. My expectations were already low because of how bad the first one is, so I'm not really as angry. So basically, as you're like, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. I expect nothing, and I was still disappointed. Are we about to now kiss? Now Yeah, seriously, what is this shot? Oh, hey Hachi! I was gonna say, we haven't seen Kerry Tagawa much of this movie. He's expensive, don't you know that, do you, sir? I mean, we had him a really? decent amount in also, the first movie. There he is. Uh, also, for some reason, again, it's just... Whatever, I forgot what I was about to say. Uh, He's got no hair nearly in this movie. Yeah, that too already mentioned that. Seriously... Yeah, we don't, I, could, I remember what he was saying, we don't know what the budget of this thing was, but it cannot have been that much high. So, if Kazuya fights yeah, in the- Yeah, literally. He's so, your flesh and blood. So, if Kazuya fights in beats Heihachi in this movie, why is he working for him in the first movie, then? Both of you to assume, Jova, that he actually fights Heihachi. Yeah. No. That's the, that's the thing. 
this entire movie where she's called Kazuya's Revenge doesn't even have Kazuya fighting Yachi. Yachi's gonna just walk stage left and then Kazuya fights a bunch of randos. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And they don't need to. Oh. So apparently he had Kazuya brainwashed, I guess. Yeah, instead of just throwing up a volcano, as he should, huh? In this in this con this continuity, he actually just brainwashed Kazuya into having amnesia. We only got twelve minutes of movie left. How's it's it gonna so resolve lame. anything? It's so fucking lame. You. <sighs> wow. And I guess Kazuya is. Well, okay. To be fair, he did backstab his dad in the first movie, so I guess he did have hard How? feelings about it. But how do still... you screw over the first movie? How? <laughs> how is it possible? They found a way. Yes, yeah. you should. Even I mean, I'm with we are right now. But I can't. But you see, my son, you can't kill me because I'm in the first movie. And you're working for me in that one, also, so... Also, rule of thumb, never have your actors turn to the camera unless it's a parody. Eh? Well, that depends. I mean, how, House of Cards did it. Your mother's blood runs through you. Wait, is that their way of referencing Tekken 7? <sighs> the Tekken 7 was not even conceived at this point. So what was even that line then? Your mother's blood runs through you. Is that his way of saying you're weak? I don't know. I can tell you, like that you said, Karada doesn't care in the least about these live action movies. And again, he took inspiration instead from the motion picture for the, the backstory of Kazuya caring about his mother. I... Okay, at Pro least the tears are convincing. Like, yeah, possible. props to Kazuya's actor. He is trying, but I'm sorry. Started. Ayachi, my man, the, the, there's less than 10 minutes left in the fucking movie. Oh, he brainwashed Laura too, didn't he? Oh, you can tell she's brainwashed because her hair is in a ponytail. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's the doll scene from Street Fighter. Thanks for the air shot. So, wait, he's gonna have to fight Laura, I guess? Could you and hurry it up, please? <laughs> and the bottle is empty with this. Wow. Damn, you drank the whole thing. Gadget, you underestimate how much I can take. No! <laughs> what the heck? Oh, God! Gadget, Gadget, you know what this oh, means, Oh, God, right? why? Cockhawks. Cockhawks <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> wait, okay, okay, okay. Everyone. Okay, I wait, wait, wait. Everyone was drunk, and yet that is the one who's laughing wait. like a madman. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are they implying that she was brainwashed the whole time, or did he just brainwash her <laughs> just Jova, now? Jova, Jova, Jova. I don't care. Wait, 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 oh my god, is he literally about to have sex? <laughs> right around the... Tekken! Tekken, everyone! Okay, to, be f to be fair, screwing oh. each other... Oh my god. Oh my screwing god. each other in the Mishima family is a thing that happens in the game. Wait, but... what? How? What? No, I don't know, Jova. I'm know. a magician. Yeah, there you go. Oh my you god! Wanted... You wanted Kazuya oh. versus Iyachi? Fuck you. What are your expectations? Fuck your expectations. So, we just see him cuck the guy in front of him, which I guess that's why he doesn't... And then in... do doesn't elaborate and leaves. That's it? That's the movie? Oh wait, now he has to fight Brian Fury? Like he said, he has to fight a, um... a bunch of randos at the end, including Brian Fury. I love um I love one of the comments from a review of this movie from a from a source named Manly Movie. Yeah, they I gave the score a three that, out of ten. But... Yeah, yeah, it's like the producers must have no idea who these characters are and no intention of giving a yeah. crap or advise that certain actors were free for a cameo. Use them. Wow, this is just unbelievable. So and it's like they're teasing us with it. Like granted, yeah, okay, I guess this gives Kazuya 
a very Remember what you said in Advent Children, Jova, about the adaptation that teases you constantly, and at the very end, might have a hint of what the original product is supposed to be. You don't even get that with this. Good lord! It's it's not even the surfing Dracula meme at this point. Like, like he said, you could just rename Kazuya someone else, and this really would be like Final Fantasy the Spirit Within. Like, if anything, Kazuya again looks. I think he looks more like how Jin looked like in the first Like he movie. said, the, the, the only thing that doesn't make this the worst video game adaptation whatsoever is because there's so much worse going around in terms of presentation, like the Elf Bowling movie. But it's, it's there, people. It's right there. Wow. Yeah, um, again, you know, and I'm gonna say it, this is disrespectful to, like, the first live-action movie. I'm sorry. That take that takes so much. And I didn't like that movie. That says a lot. So. Like, Jesus! I'm sorry, did they do this just to intentionally torch this franchise and make sure that okay, it can never come least, back? At the very least, for it to be the final boss, at the very least we're showcasing actual fighting. Where was this throughout the movie? Well, technically it was there, but it was done in terrible slow motion editing. Fuck <sighs> this. And again, this generic I can looking... see the sweat on the actors. This generic looking Tekken factory, like, good Are you God. sure that it's Tekken at this point, Jova? Well, the movie is called Tekken. Let's just call this Bob's Revenge without the Tekken. It will be the same. Bob the Builder's Revenge. Can we fix it? No! <laughs> <laughs> I can oh, imagine one of those people that kept saying it. <laughs> oh god, I, I can I can imagine it now. Bob the Builder holds a um, wrench in front of a group of his soldiers, which are actually the the friends, you know, the friendly trucks and um, equipment and everything. They that they all talk, and he gives a rousing speech, and it ends with, "To all of you, my friends, can we fix it?" Okay, that could actually be pretty awesome, it's like so... like in the, the Street Fighter movie, he's like, Who wants to go with war? No man, who wants to go with me? So... Yay! So, did he actually kill Laura? Like... <laughs> I don't know how to that. It's so confusing, it's nothing is explained. Uh, did I... I no. The movie to end, this, uh... this movie doesn't even have a plot, it's just things happening. Like, what has been accomplished by the end? Kazuya remembers um, who he is. Um, the, 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 um, the, um, the, um, the, for everybody. The, oh. the guy who took over a town, the, the guy who was running the town's, uh, dead. I guess, yeah. It Wait. wasn't even that, that lives, it was just the, the, the local, one of the local warlords, uh, like a preacher. There you go. Oh, Hold now on. he accepts that his name is Kazuya, doesn't he? I love all the framely like it's supposed to be such a fan service moment, but it's not. It's so not. Lame. This is lame. Fuck um, movie. Uh, Joe Matteo already did that thing, junk. <laughs> but whatever. Fuck whatever. So, okay, so let's assume Laura's dead. That explains why she isn't in the first movie, but Andrews is still around, so... Where's she in the first movie? Oh, and I guess uh, that means lost. And I guess that means that she killed the other girl off screen too. And this also and by means. By the way, that's kind of how the movie ends. I think there's the, just one the shot of a Yashi, and that's it. Uh. He said it, guys. He said Tekken. That's because the city is called Tekken and the, 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 the corporation is called Tekken. That's not a high bar to work with. Yeah, that's uh, almost even trying. And there you go, Jova. That's how it ends. Oh, uh, look, he's making the Tekken Peter <laughs> from the first movie. How cute. It's all aligns together. Cut the credits. Uh, no post credit scene. 
Movie's over. Good wow. lord. Like... Do you want to go first? Yeah, I'll um, go first to... I'll, can I go first just to wrap it up real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah. I won't be long. Uh, well, this was boring. It's just... It's, it's exactly like... It's exactly like ballistic. Anemic action. Really, really dull, slow pacing. Um... Dry acting from a lot of people involved. I'm surprised there wasn't an Antonio Banderas in this movie where he looked like he was falling asleep. Look, I think Banderas has his standards, especially after what happened with Ballistic X vs. Sever. Um, might not explain some of his other film choices, but... Um, okay, I don't think right. he's ever gotten in anything as bad as Ballistic X I think Shrek the Seven. Third qualifies. No, 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 no. Like, Shrek the Third's a terrible movie. It's not X versus Sever levels of bad, though. Like, X versus Sever earned that 0% for a reason. Alright, uh, go on. And as for the, um... And the music is just this really long, boring, um... Drawl of, like, one single note, except for that dance scene, the, that, that disco scene in the middle. It's like I was listening to Hans a score for Dark Phoenix. Oh, that's, that's, I believe, don't you know, that's clearly supposed to be underrated or something. Blech. I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing it or, or hearing it, uh, to be more accurate. And yeah, yeah, there we are, a camera operator, bit Chaos. So his actual so name is Wyke Chaos. What an interesting name. Um, honestly, no, that's really about it. It's just a really long, boring film that barely has any fighting in it for some of this for some of caught as Tekken in the time. Oh, Stephen Paul was even a visual effects um guy. What effects? So there was barely anything in this. Um, well, the that was flash of the guns, I guess. That's about as close as we can get, I assume. Um, but then again, what did I expect from the uh, the guy who made such classics as Ballistic? And okay, I haven't seen this, but um, interesting, interesting, um, interesting thing. He was a producer of a film called The Lost Medallion: The Adventures of Billy Stone. I, wish I don't. Was told. A anybody I don't know. knows that <laughs> this movie was an excuse for to have to talk about Ballistic again? Yeah, same, point, uh... same director. Yeah, and well, well, that's okay. That's my opinion um, in terms of actual filmmaking quality. This one was exactly the same as Ballistic. I don't think it's worse overall, <laughs> but but it's but it's still it's still pretty bad. Like it's congrats, you were better than Ballistic X versus Sever, one of the few movies to get a zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Hurrah! Have a clap. Right. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him the one clap. <laughs> there, yeah, that that's that's me done. This one sucks. Um, I'll go next. My God, this movie is spectacularly terrible. It's not just a movie that spits in the face of Tekken the game series. It's a movie that manages to spit in the face of Tekken the live action movie. Like, yes. This is a movie that can make one appreciate the finer details of the live-action Tekken movie. I granted, I always had a bit of a softer spot on that movie the first time watching it, but... Even with that in mind, that didn't make me say it was good, but I would watch that, like, a million times before going through this sequel again. There's nothing here. At best, there's a showing about why Kazuya wants his revenge, which he does get... Oh my god, the thing is, he doesn't get his revenge until the first movie, so the title Kazuya's Revenge is a complete lie. And even then, he doesn't even work. Good lord. Goodness. And again, it doesn't explain how, entirely how he becomes the way he does in the first film, or heck, where this Anders girl went. They build up villain characters, but they get very lackluster defeats from the minister getting stabbed to... Sailor Girl just, I guess... Actually, I'm not sure what Anders did. It looked like she maybe cut her neck or something. I don't know. She and, just one shot her. And the other girl was strangled and killed off screen. 
the only piece of important information that we know is that Brian Fury used to be against the main from the for the minister, then was against him, and then works for Vishayachi. And I yeah, guess just... he may or may not be dead. Laura was Kazuya's love interest, but then she got brainwashed and made out with his dad in front of him. I know that scene's supposed to be traumatic, but it just feels hilariously stupid more than anything. Uh -uh. The music is borderline non-existent with how dull and grating it is. The set designs are beyond cheap. The production values are are unbelievably pedestrian. Like, I really do wonder if our theory of this being contractually obligated is a thing, because it feels like almost no one wanted to make this with the lack of effort put in. Nobody gave a shit. And again, it feels almost like they were trying to kill it, because they barely include any characters from the game series. Whereas, you know, the movie, the first live-action movie, made a point to include a good portion of characters. Like, what the heck, man? And yeah, like, if you're not befuddled by all that's going on, you're gonna be either confused or just bored up the wazoo. Cause the big build-up, a confrontation with Heihachi, you're blue-balled, you're blue-balled... You're blue-balled as much as Kazuya was by his dad with his girl, which, yeah, um, maybe he killed Laura? Like, it just seemed like he was lying her down, but then she's left lying on the ground, so either she's knocked out or she's forever brainwashed or dead? I don't know. It feels like the movie could not be bothered to care. It's like that scene at the beginning of Face Off where Nicolas Cage shrugs. Uh... And, like... And then, in the end, they have the goal to give us an obvious sequel hook, because, yeah, I know some may say, oh, it's just hinting at the first film, only no, because by the time of the first film, remember, Kazuya is in a position of power underneath Heihachi, so... Clearly, there must have been something, maybe a tournament that happened in between here or there, but we won't get to see it proper. I am really not a fan of origin movies that don't really work as origin movies because they don't actually do their job of showing us how the characters got to this point or whatnot. It's like one of the issues with X-Men Origins Wolverine where they skipped a good chunk of Logan's life, cutting out a lot of said origins. And yet, I think even that movie might be better than this prequel, cause oh, good lord. There's nothing. Nothing of value. If you're watching this, watch it to either take the piss out of it and do it with friends, cause good lord, you might be in danger of being put to sleep forever by this movie. Good day, sir. Dedge. Hmm. What to describe Tekken 2? Kazuya's Revenge, the 2014 follow-up to the live-action theatrical release of the Tekken movie. Well, there's not really much to go off other than it's a follow-up to our already established turd. And I must say that... No, fuck that. This movie is garbage, dog. Um, I'm not angry about it. Because, again, I really do not like the first movie. But this is just so boring. Yeah. Nothing about this resembles Tekken. This could have just been its own thing. Really? And, cool. while, it's still, and while the pro final product still would have been bad, the fact that it's attached to an already established IP... It just makes it even worse. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish with this movie because it's like it's a prequel, but nothing about the prequel really leads into the into the first movie we saw. If it, if anything, it just makes you feel like how how did this Kazuya become the Kazuya that we know? 
they're two completely different characters. Yeah. For all intended purposes. But hey, Desert has your favorite, a cuck orc. Uh, <laughs> at the very end of all that. <laughs> like, seriously, it's like the movie itself is teabagging you for daring to have any hopes of an interesting climax. Like this? This is just so... Man, Hollywood really did not get video games. Okay, no. what, okay, was this one even a Hollywood one? Because this is like direct-to-video and all that. It was American-made, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's a follow-up to a Hollywood movie. And yeah. you got a theatrical release in some Asian countries, like the Philippines. Uh-huh. See, we're going to have to watch that Dead or Alive movie. Hey, I thought I that one was actually good. I know it's better than this, so. Has to Our be. Boobies in that, at least. I just don't get what they were trying trying to accomplish. With us. I honestly don't get it either. Like, were they trying to re cause a resurgence? Did they think that fans of the original movie would like a complete bastardization of their timeline? Also, also, when you think of Tekken, what's usually the first thing you think of? Tournament. Beating each other up. This movie barely has any of that. It didn't even yeah. get the flipping tournament. And okay, to be fair, yeah. It, 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 it does, you don't need a tournament because like Tekken 6 and 7 didn't have one. That is fair, but th remember, this is a prequel to the first Tekken movie, which is definitely basing itself around the tournament arcs of the earlier Tekken games, so... I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. All right, uh, Pedro, why don't you go next while Tia's prepping himself? Uh, yeah, this was garbage, but then uh, I really expected that because you know it's chaos. But uh, um, it's just it's mostly white noise because I just don't care about any of this shit. It's just like, uh, like I, I, I like I so checked out from this like before the halfway point because it's just nothing but noise and people talking about things i have no idea what they're talking about and shit and yeah that's basically it like it's really hard for me to even it was hard for me to even follow what was what was going on because the the, the movie just doesn't have a plot it's just random nonsense happening that's all it is so yeah it's like what? I have no idea who the hell this movie is for. Um, it's definitely not for me, though. That's it. Go on, to. Okay. It really sucks. Um, even the first movie, which was worse, which was bad or already on its own, it's just... It's also better in comparison to this. Uh, like, what happens in this? Kazuya wakes up with amnesia, fucks off with a... Cult with a religious leader for a while, falls in love with a girl, and then encounters a Yachi that tells him that he's a Mishima. The end. Woo! The end. We I've... accomplished so much, boys. You're literally doing yeah. all this for something that any Tekken fan would already know. And with so much little action to begin with. Like, at least to make it so that the actual. He's very and it's fun, but it's not. It's not. But it's the first movie new to be about the term and to be the action. And it's still bad, but at least he remembered it. This is almost nothing. Even, like I said, even in the name of the King Free is better than this in remembering its own material. And that one was at the point where we all had so little budget to work with. Good lord. What the fuck is this? Why? Who made this and why? Why was this a thing that happened? Like, again, the only thing, the only reason I'm not saying it's the worst uh, video game adaptations ever made is because there are worse 
things on the presentation side, like the Elf Bowling movie, you know, but it, it's still close, only because it doesn't have anything there. And compared to Five Hundred the Spirits Within, this one somehow is even less. Actually, it's supposed to be a thriller about a guy with amnesia discovering his origin and escaping a bad situation, but you just don't feel anything. You don't feel anything about it, about any one of these characters. Fuck this movie. Fuck so much. Just like how Heihachi did it to Kazuya's girlfriend. I, yeah, the cock heart continues until morale improves. Fuck <laughs> this. That can deserve better and it did go better, thankfully, in the end, so... Um... I'll swallow that in as well. Yeah, see you for whatever. Maybe we'll do the tech, the Netflix series at some point. Who knows? Yeah. Ta ta. Yeah. Uh...